Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. I appreciate you spending a little time checking out this beer. Uh, today's beer comes from Lakewood Brewing. This is their Coconut Temptress. Uh, this was sent to me by Brandon C. down in Texas. That's where these guys are at. Uh, I have done several versions that he has sent to me uh, in this series. This is the Coconut Temptress. Uh, 12 ounce bottle. Uh, some of the bottles they do are a little bigger than this, uh, but this is a 12 ouncer coming in at 9.1% ABV. Uh, let me see if I have, uh, untapped has it at 56 IBUs, and it may be written on the bottle here too. Uh, 9.1, yep, 56 IBUs, and it says it was bottled on March the 15th of 2018. So you got all three bits of information that we need to make an educated purchase. ABV, IBUs, and the bottled on date. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that, guys, uh, with that, that much information on the label itself. Two big thumbs up to uh, Lakewood Brewing for giving us that information. Uh, I'm sure they sell more beers because of it, guys. I really, really do. I wish the rest of the brewers would step up to the plate and wake up, smell the freaking roses, and give us us give us that information. I mean, that's what we want, and I don't understand that. Yeah, I do. I do understand that they want to sell more beer, and they don't give a rat's ass what we think. So, uh, and if they don't, I usually leave that stuff sitting on the shelf for some other sucker to come by. Uh, so, as long as I'm getting those three bits of information, I don't have a problem buying their beer, whether it's a good beer or not. They're giving us the information I need to make an educated purchase. So. Enough said. Uh, commercial description on Untapped says, If you want to be uh, whisked away to a tropical paradise, all you need is a bottle opener. We added toasted coconut to our most seductive brew for a friendly flavor usually found only in the most remote of islands. It still has the delectable chocolate notes you love, but now with the rich hint of coconut. Grass skirts are optional. Well, I don't have my grass skirt on. I don't think I own a skirt. No, I don't think I do. So, uh, that's basically all the information in a nutshell. It's on the bottle. If you want to uh, look at the bottle and get that information before you buy it, make that educated purchase, I think it's a, I think it's a win-win situation for the brewery and for the consumer when they do give us that information. So, I think that's it. Uh, we've gone over everything. So, final beer of the evening for me here, guys. So, let's get the top off of this thing. And I've heard some of these bottles are a little overcarbonated. So, I hope it's not going to spew all over the place. Uh, some people are not saying that, but some people are. So, uh, and there goes the top. Stayed in the bottle. So, uh, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. So let me pour this and see what we're going to get. It doesn't look too car overcarbonated to me, guys. So maybe I got one of the lucky ones. Uh, food Furnace says general chocolate dessert. If I tried a pint back on a tumbler mug, Stein Sadal, I got my favorite snifter. And it says here, not recommended for extended salaries. I don't know why they're not using the coffee. And it's not a hoppy beer. So I don't know, with a 9.1%er, I don't know why you couldn't sell it. I don't know if the coconut's going to fade. I haven't heard that before. So I can't see why you could not sell her this beer. Another example of why Beer Advocate has a lot of misinformation, guys. Uh, 
it doesn't seem to be overcarbonated whatsoever. Matter of fact, uh, it's just the head is just barely covering the top of the beer. So, looks good. It looks good to me in the glass. Uh, pitch black, guys. I'm not seeing any light coming through it. Uh, looks very much like a uh, like an imperial stout, uh, and that's what this is in a stout. But it is a milk slash sweet stout, so it means they've used lactose in the brewing. So let's get it to the nose. I am getting a rich roasted malt, a hint of the sweetness from the lactose. Not getting a lot of coconut on the nose. But it's right out of the fridge. That those aromas and tastes may come out as it warms up to room temperature, which I always let happen. Maybe a little bit of uh, caramel and uh, toffee, black molasses. But not a big coconut uh, aroma on the nose right now. So let's dive in see what we got cheers everybody cheers brandon now on the taste the coconut is there guys big time big time coconut notes roasted malt lactose from i mean the sweetness from the lactose very nice very enjoyable Very, very nice. Definitely getting the coconut on the taste. And it's probably going to open up. Like I said, it's right out of the fridge. Probably when I come back for the final chug, uh, I'm going to be able to smell that coconut. I can't smell it right now, but I damn sure can taste it. So, uh, the Tempter uh, series uh, seems to be a very impressive line from Lakewood. Uh, Lakewood does some really nice, tasty beers. And they do some little bottles like this, and they do some bigger bottles. Uh, uh, some of that stuff's probably a little on the pricey side to buy. It's a bourbon barrel aged version or something. You gotta realize that. I mean, if it's sitting in a barrel somewhere in the brewery, taking up space for that entire batch, uh, and depending on how long they're gonna leave it in there to get the acquired taste they want you to have, uh, whether it's three months, six months, eight months, 12 months, whatever the case may be, uh, I'm sure they sample it probably weekly, if not more often than that, uh, to check and make sure it's where they want it to be before they bottle it. So, very nice. I'm impressed with what Lakewood does. Well, we're going to sip on it, let her taste it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. been sipping on this thing about 45 minutes or so. Very nice. Definitely getting the coconut, uh, rich roasted malt, uh, hints of uh, maybe some toffee or caramel and black molasses. Uh, it does have a nice sweetness with the lactose. Uh, very enjoyable beer. Very nice beer. Uh, all the information on the bottle that we need. Uh, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. No doubt about it. Uh, it is a very enjoyable beer. I enjoyed this. Brandon Seat down in Texas. Thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you sending me the beers you do. I am getting the coconut on the aroma now that it's warmed up. Awesome smelling beer. A very well done beer. The only thing I would say, maybe a little bit of flaked oats or something in it to give it just a little creamier mouthfeel. But other than that, outstanding beer, guys. Final choke. Very delicious, guys. Nine out of ten for me on this one. Very, very tasty beer. I enjoyed this. Very nice. Uh, to me, guys, I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 95. Right down the middle of the uh, uh, the uh, nine or eight category, if you will. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 4.23 out of five. Definitely into their A category also. And final check-in. Untapped has it at 4.11, also in their A category also. And the reason I'm giving it such a, a good grade is because of the information that's on the bottle. ABV, IBUs, and bottled on date. Uh, everything you need 
to make an educated purchase, guys. You know how old the beer is. You know what the ABV is. You know what the IBU is. And it says Coconut Temptress Imperial Milk Stout right up on the label. Uh, tells you everything about the beer. What you're getting, what you're purchasing, what you're buying, what you're drinking. So, uh, that being said, if you've had this one from Lakewood Brewers, this is their Coconut Temptress. Let me know what you think. And if you can get this beer and you like this style of beer, pick it up. Give it a try. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.